If you'd like to find out which deep AI research tool is the best at creating content, this video is for you because I'm going to compare Skywork and Manus and GenSpark, all really great popular options that are out there at the moment. And we're going to see which one creates the best slide deck for us. So with that, let's just get them set up. So as you can see with uh, Skywork, it creates documents, slides, sheets, web pages, even podcasts, and can be used as a general research agent, which is brilliant. So I've got uh, slides selected ready to go. And like all of these deep research agents, and just like you would use ChatGPT, you just paste in your prompt right here and if you want to you can find out in advance how many credits this is going to use I'm just on the free plan at the moment and then we've got Manus right here and they also have a dedicated slides agent that will create a presentation on whatever you give it just here and then the same with GenSpark just here. I'll put in my uh, same prompt. And the prompt, by the way, is to create some slides, a visually appealing slide deck titled Things to Do to Visit Zante. The reason being I'm going there next week. So this is going to be doubly useful for you and me. And the presentation should be designed for families visiting Zante, highlighting activities suitable for kids, parents and all ages and so on. And I've asked for it to be bright, colourful, holiday themed with ocean blues and so on and use icons, maps and family friendly imagery throughout. So there is the challenge. And all we need to do now is to set all three of these off at a similar time, see which one finishes first. But first is not always the most important, of course, that we're looking for quality and accuracy right here. So let's kick off uh, and we will do GenSpark first. So there it goes. Then we'll do Manus and then we'll do Skywork. And by the way, if you want to try Skywork out, you should click the link underneath this video and go and check it out because I've used this before to create slides. And the last time I did, I was super impressed, but I haven't tried out GenSpark and Manus yet to compare against it. So let's take a little look. It's been about two minutes now, I suppose. And let's have a look and see what each of the agents is doing. Skywork is going online. And it's searching like TripAdvisor, Expedia and all of these other sites to basically get its information from. Then we've got Manus over here. It's, it looks at the moment it's doing image searches and going and finding, uh, you know, some nice pictures of things to do there. GenSpark just here is still at phase one. However, I can see that it's already reading TripAdvisor, uh, Zantevibes.com and, and all of these other websites to get its information there. So they're, they're all working, but which one is actually going to do the best job? And we'll just check on the time as well and see which one's quickest. So it looks like we've got our first error here in GenSpark. Um, it says error data, error message, something or other, server error. Oh, and it's anthropic something or other. So it looks like it's some kind of error that it's got um, trying to connect to Anthropic. So I'll just click regenerate the response on that one and we'll, you know, fingers crossed for the second attempt. Manus is still going strong. And what's interesting about Manus is on the right hand side, I could see that it was visiting the site. It was kind of showing you a browser window where it was going and doing those things. And it seems to have done its slide deck or at least the first at the very first slide by the look of it and let's pop over to whoa have a look at skywork skywork has basically done the job here wow look at this it's even put a video in there things to do and reasons to visit zante and in brackets akinthos that's the greek name for it and it looks incredible family friendly beaches beach activities of all ages unbelievable done so that is a, a really impressive demo. Now we're going to have a closer look at those slides and let's see how far Manus is, is done here. So it's still, it's done two slides, two slides done so far. GenSpark, whoa, I don't even know what GenSpark's doing right now. Okay, you know it is, it's creating itself an outline of what to um, put in the slides. And, and they look pretty good. Family front awaits, why Zante is perfect for families. So that all looks quite good. It's just taking its time. And of course, we had that error there to begin with. So we're, what we'll do now is we'll let GenSpark finish its job and we'll let Manus finish its job. 
Hopefully they won't take too long and um, we'll come back when all of the slide decks are done. So we're all done. Well, not all of them because unfortunately GenSpark once again came up with this error. It did manage to create a slide and literally a slide, just one slide, which looks a little bit old fashioned as well. Unfortunately, I do like the fact they got this feature, this fact check content. Um, which is quite good. But yeah, it died. So I'm not going to do that again. But Manus, on the other hand, did manage to do the slides. And it did. Um, let me have a look. How many did it do? I think it did about nine, which is not bad. And it was obviously quite a bit slower than um, Skywork, though. Skywork was definitely the fastest. So let's have a proper look at these slide decks. And you tell me which one you think is best in the comments below. Let me see if we can get it up full screen. So here's Skyworks slide, and I'm gonna zoom in because if I press play on here, which is a really nice feature, it just goes full screen and I've got a ginormous screen and I'm not recording all of it. So I'll just do it in here. I might be able to, no, I won't zoom in. So really, really nice. I love the fact they've put like a background video there like that. And they've got, you know, the things that are included in here, like beaches, boat trips and so on with the little icons. I think the layout's really, really nice. We've got family-friendly beaches there and uh, little tips as well. Like all beaches offer sunbeds and umbrellas for rent. It's a nice little thing to know. And then uh, beach activities. There you go. Wildlife spotting. We've got boat tours and sea adventures. There you go. And some tips there as well. Uh, land exploration adventures too. So you can look at one of the most famous beaches, the uh, Navagio Beach, which uh, has got this amazing shipwreck on. Hopefully there'll be a picture of it in amongst these slides. And so that's all very well detailed in my opinion. And what I like is it doesn't just use the same sort of death by bullet point design that a lot of companies will use. So I definitely think that is a that is a cracking um, a cracking design overall there, and it's even got like this call to action at the end uh, for you to book your family adventure now. Now, if you're a, a travel agent, how good to use something like this as a lead magnet? You know, enter your name and email to get our full travel guide uh, presentation on visiting Zante, and at the end it links to uh, their booking page for Zante. That is a great way of using things like this. These slides. So there is Sky uh, Work. Dot AI's version. Now let's take a look at Manus's, which uh, it's got nine slides, and I think this one here we go. So we've got 10 slides, so you get one more with Skywork, and we'll try and um, open this out. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, it looks very neat and tidy. Uh, you've got these sort of left hand side layouts and everything. I quite like this. It goes to the right there. That's not there's the Navagio Beach that I was telling you about, which looks unbelievable. And then uh, blue case turtle spotting, although they've got, see, this is wrong because now this is supposed to be showing a picture of the blue caves of Zakynthos, but instead it's showing this beach and that shipwreck. So, and they're not even close together. So that's a bit of a worry because I would be having to then, you know, find out if that's true, do my research, which is basically what these apps are supposed to do for us is all the research. Then it's got uh, water parks there, uh, exploring Zante's nature. I'm not sure what that is, so I wouldn't want to try and guess. Family friendly dining. That looks to be possibly an AI picture. I'm not sure about that. But the, the, the sort of design on these slides is very, very similar. One picture on the right and on the left, all of these little boxes here with, with content in. But overall, not a bad job. But, you know, the fact that it's putting sort of totally incorrect pictures of where it's saying it is, is a worry to me. So let's pop over now again to a Skyworks one here. And we can just find out a little bit. Let's just do a couple of fact checks. So this one here says um, Jaracus Beach. I'm probably not pronouncing that right at all. But let's just see if it is um, a part of a marine park. There we go. Let's just have a little look. There we go. So, uh, oh, good. We can use Google's AI here. There we go. Garakas Beach is protected nesting site within the National Marine Park of Zakynthos. So that was correct, which is always good to know. And then obviously we've got people in the water. That's pretty easy. You don't need to fact check that now. So this is what should have been shown before. Now, can you see that 
it says there um, family friendly boat tours going right over the top of that. So anything you want to adjust in this software, you can just go over to here and then we'll find that particular slide. There it is. Let's zoom in a little bit and we can click regenerate the page if we want to. And we can literally edit it just by clicking edit just here. And then now we can see that text that was there. It looks like that was um, from something that was deleted. Let's delete that off. Whoops. Anything you do wrong like that, you can undo it. And I've just got to get myself in that area there. And then I can just delete that off so we don't have that as a problem anymore, which is great. And then anything you want to adjust in the slides, because maybe things aren't quite in the right place or something like that, you can just go ahead and click on this and then move it about like that. So everything's very, very easy to adjust and test out. So I really like uh, Skywork for research. I think it's definitely going to be uh, the best solution out of the three that we've shown. Unfortunately for GenSpark, definitely having a bad day at the office, keep having these error message come up. Um, you know, new tech, uh, these things happen, but of course us as users, you know, we want reliability. And I think Skyworks proven that it's definitely the best at that. So that's it for this video. Definitely click the link underneath this video to go try Skywork out for free and test it out. And then, um, you know, see how well you can do with just a few simple words in a prompt box to create any content that you want. And just a reminder of that content. You can do uh, podcasts. You can do documents. You can do, uh, here we go, sheets web pages even the whole lot and also just a general research agent as well so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next ai related video in just a minute